Hi, I'm Dustin, and welcome to this special episode of Homemade Movies, Fantastic Fails. Fantastic Fails. Fantastic Fails. Each week we bring you a homemade recreation of a movie scene or trailer, but not everything always goes according to plan. So we're going to take a look back at some of the biggest failures or things that were just really difficult to pull off. The way we made the Iron Man suit meant that you couldn't actually see out of the mask. It looks really cool, but trying to perform the actions was really tricky. Especially when, I don't know, trying to skateboard through the house or pull off a carefully timed shot on the bed with pepper pots. When we were going to blow up Tony Stark's mansion, we had the idea to actually use little model rocket engines. This is the lowest grade. This is like what science teachers use. It's on a little bit of a guide wire, so when we light it, ideally, this will be on the trajectory to blow up Tony's mansion. First of all, it was difficult to get them to light. You, you're supposed to have a proper like ignition kind of charge thing, and we we're just trying to light it with a lighter. It doesn't work that way. So we got a 9-volt battery and tried to like get the thing to spark, and eventually it just shot off across the yard and knocked over the camera, knocked over the wire, and it was a big mess. We just ended up abandoning that idea entirely and just used little pieces of cardboard on the end of a stick, lighting it on fire instead. Even our fake rockets had their own issues. The cardboard would just fall off, and I think I burnt a hole in my air mattress that was standing in as the ocean, and the whole thing was a wreck. When we did our big Matrix bullet time shot, we wanted to add in the trails of the bullets too, so we decided to use slinkies. Uh, it's a really cool idea, it looks great on camera, but they were really, really difficult to work with. Well, when you pull them, they twist and unwind as they tighten, and so the string ends up wrapping around the wire, and then it just gets stuck. It totally stops, you can't pull it anymore. Every single time we wanted to do the shot, for each take we had to untangle these things, reset them, unhook the wire, hook it back up again, get it straight, try and get it to not twist too much, and sometimes they would just snap halfway through a take, so uh, that was a challenging one. Whoa. One shot that was really tricky to get right was the alien running across the table. It was tough to get it to follow the right path and we just did that one over and over and none of them were even close to being right. It was so far off, it was just like it would spin this way or the fake blood would cause it to stick to this thing and then it would spin and it was one of those takes where it didn't even seem like we were even in the range of getting it right yet and then magically Finally, one of them was just perfect. Our Jurassic Park scene takes place mostly inside of a moving car. So rather than driving while we're shooting it, we thought, well, why don't we just make a little backdrop that just moves behind the car and give it the illusion of motion. We built this long strip of fake cardboard foliage and we set it up on a two by four and we figured, okay, well, we'll just slide this thing back and forth, no big deal. But when it came time to shoot, this background just wouldn't stay in place. It's really long, so how do we get it to stay up? And in some of the final shots even, you can see it kind of gets hung up sometimes on like little cracks in the wood or whatever it'll like stop and then get going again and it's kind of part of the homemade charm and I like that but um, it was supposed to be a really simple part of the process and it became a, a huge uh, pain the whole day. Our One Direction trailer was really fun to make because we used all sock puppets for it which meant also like little miniature sets and little silly props and things that we made but one shot that goes by really fast that ended up being really difficult to get right was this quick shot where one of them kicks like a soccer ball so we made the little table and a little soccer ball had all the puppets lined up but you have to kick it the right way. So one of those shots that you don't expect to spend a lot of time on, but you end up doing it a hundred times. Ugh, that was a good one. Stop dead in his tracks. Oh, okay. In our Fast and Furious scene, we were making it look like the cars are moving very fast. Most of it's miniatures, but all the interiors is just us sitting in the car. Something that we kind of failed on was we figured, well, you're not going to be looking out the window. It'll cut together with the miniatures. It'll look cool. But looking back on it, it's like, okay, yeah, we're clearly just sitting in cars, not moving. And there's some shots of the speedometer where we rev the engine, but a lot of fans have noticed the speed is at zero. Because a lot of people commented on that, when it came time to do our Back to the Future hitting 88 miles per hour, we made sure to go out and get 88 miles per hour. When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, <laughs> you're gonna see some serious sh For our Star Trek Into Darkness trailer, we needed to have some sweet hair for Captain Kirk, and uh, I just took a lady's wig, and it's actually like a costume wig, and tried to cut it and make Captain Kirk's hair. And that really failed miserably. I was not happy with it at the time. <laughs> Once we embraced how ridiculous it looked, we kind of had fun with it, and now we love it. Sometimes we only have one chance to get a shot right, and it's because we're burning the logo that I just spent three hours making. You know, once something's on fire and it's like go, 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 it's it's hard to get all the beats right. Yeah, now do another burst. A short burst. Short, 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 short. I think we... We got some good bursts in there. 
I'm pretty obsessed with the attention to detail in every single shot, no matter how big or how small, but something that I totally missed and got wrong and didn't even notice until later on in the process was in our Back to the Future scene. After building the clock tower, getting Doc in there, getting lightning, getting wind, getting everything, I didn't even realize at the time that we were shooting that the hour hand was at the 11 o'clock hour instead of the 10 o'clock hour. Oh my gosh, of all the things to get wrong, it's the hour hand. And some commenters have noticed too, so that was just a full on fail. In our Ender's Game trailer, there's a shot of a spaceship exploding and we had a heck of a time trying to get the sparklers to light properly. We started by cutting them into little strips, poking them into the side of the spaceship. We figured we'll like light them all real quick and we get a bunch of cool sparks going, then we'll do a blast of fire. Well, they wouldn't light because it turns out they have a little like ignition piece at the end, so you can't just start halfway through. And then we decided, okay, let's put full strips on, camera's rolling, and for some reason these things would not light. Finally, one of them lights. Okay, now quick, we gotta light the other one. Not lighting, not lighting. Meanwhile, this one's burning out. By the time the other one lit, we still didn't get the shot. And that is a good example of one of those things that we spent forever on, and then it just goes by in like half a second in the trailer. Thanks for watching our special edition of Homemade Movies Fantastic Fails. Be sure to check out the videos we talked about if you haven't seen them yet, and subscribe to Cinefix to see new ones every Tuesday. And come back next week for our big Star Wars scene starring Chris Hardwick as Luke Skywalker. You're not going to want to miss it.